You excited to have the students back this year? Oh, most definitely. <laughs> uh, we ain't gotta uh, deal with the fake crowd noise in the stadium no more, so it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. Yeah, yeah. Uh, are any games looking forward to this year in particular? Uh, all of them, to be honest, man. Uh, after what happened last year, uh, I just kind of realized, man, I really just gotta take it one week at a time and, and enjoy check. the process of uh, going through each team. Bench checked in bag. Any any deals lined up for you? Any? any any NIL deals you're thinking about? Uh, none that I can speak on right now, but uh, only one I can speak on is one that I currently uh, endorse was Positivity Water, which is a black-owned black uh, water company. Super cool. Super cool. Thanks. Thank so I forgot to ask you earlier, just when you're working in the slot compared to working on outside a yeah. corner, just what are mentally – just what adjustments do you have to make? I know it's like almost a completely different position and yeah. playing in a different space and, and reading off other people, but just what do you have to, what are the things that you have to, you know, look for, you know, when you're in the slot compared to when you're outside? Yeah, so, uh, playing nickel, you have to realize that uh, you're not just uh, a DB. Uh, there's times where you have to line up in the box um, as a linebacker. There's times where you have to line up uh, further back and become a safety. So, um, you know, you have to know more about the defense. When motions happens, no, you know, knowing the check downs and stuff like that, and also the technique changes as well. Uh, from corner, you don't you don't have the sideline no more. Uh, the slot receiver has more space to work with, so knowing you know, how to play with leverage and all that it comes into effect. When it comes to that too, when you have someone like you know Rashad Wild Goose, who you know your former teammate, who you know was able to do that too, did you? How have you adapted to that in terms of learning? Because you know you having to now work on inside. How have you learned from others about how to that play that position more? Yeah, so uh, yeah, when, when Goose was in that position, uh, I used to watch him a lot. So when he went down, uh, I was really just picking his brain, you know, on the sidelines, like, hey, bro, like, you know, like, how did you play this? How did you play that? So he definitely helped me when it was my time to step up on uh, in the nickel. On, you know, okay, you know, I played it, uh, I played it this way, I played it that way, because uh, I was so used to just playing on the outside. So uh, having him to kind of just help me guide me through that transition, and having Coach Lynn help me guide, uh, guide me through that transition was, uh, was pretty fun. Dan, I want to follow up with something we talked about earlier with, with your relationship with Coach Chris. Um, is it safe to say that you liked him as a coach before last year, but you got to know him a little bit better and maybe a little gained a little more respect for him last year because of the weirdness and that stuff? Is that is that fair? To, is that accurate? Yeah, so uh, I'll say, like, the younger me was kind of uh, afraid of Coach uh, Chris. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I was like always afraid to talk to him and then I remember like the older guys like you know uh, Derek Tindall and Nick Nelson they used to always tell me like just go to his office just talk to him but he, he's cool you know so uh, I say the more I, I got a chance to talk to him you know the more he reached out to me I can say the more our relationship had uh, built. Okay interesting thank you. Why don't you tell me what the identity of this defense is going to be this year obviously last year didn't go the way you guys wanted it to be but you know obviously defense in the Big Ten that's how you guys win right? Yeah. Uh, our identity will be, it's going to be physical. Physical as hell, you know, physical, fast football, man. And, you know, that's our defense. Yeah, and what are you going to bring specifically this year? You know, uh, what's what's going to change or how, how is your game improved from years past? Uh, I definitely say uh, being more, uh, taking more of the leadership role in our group um, and on the defense. Uh, and also you know, creating more turnovers, uh, playmaking ability uh, to, to change games. Yeah, and then you look at who's been winning this conference every year. It's Ohio State, right? Yeah. How do you knock the Kings off the throne? Uh, get back to Wisconsin football. You know, it, it's been done before, so you know we can't be really be too focused on that. But definitely, just you know, take it one week at a time, play Wisconsin football, and when opportunities do come, you got to finish. Yeah, and what's it going to mean to have fans back at Camp Randall? Uh, it's going to be big for us. You know, having those having those fans and, and that energy coming back into the stadium. You know, making it hard for teams to come in and, and get a W, so it's going to help us a lot. Yeah, I mean, you guys feed off of the crowd, right? Yeah, most definitely, especially when jump around comes and it gets the team hyped up, you can just feel the energy. Yeah, I mean, big picture, what's your expectation for the, for the Badgers program this year? Uh, getting back to old Wisconsin football, physical, um, and winning. Thank you. I was going to say, on too, after I talked to you, uh, we got a chance to talk to Paul, and you know, he mentioned that the team's over 85% vaccinated right now. Just how have you, in terms of the process of, of learning and educating and, and whatnot throughout this process, throughout the pandemic, and then also with, with the vaccine, how, how have you seen the program and the university kind of educate everybody? And, and, this, and what have you seen from the discussions from players and staff and coaches? So I know, you know a lot of players that, that were concerned about the vaccine, including myself, 
Um, I would say our uh, medical staff, our trainers have done a good job of like guiding us through uh, education, uh, giving us uh, articles and stuff like that to kind of like, you know, help us understand what's going on, uh, what's in the vaccine. So, you know, if you do decide to get it, you know what you're doing. So they've done a pretty good job. And so like, did it help influence your decision then overall in, in the N2? Uh, a little bit. Um, you know, I talked to my parents about it and whatnot. And, you know, we, have, we all have our opinions. Um, you know, whether you're vaccinated or not, uh, I just feel like you still have to continue to be safe. Um, you know, everybody has to play their part.